Hey everybody, welcome back to Matt's Ice Cream Show. We are back on our quest to try all the ice cream world has to offer. Welcome back everybody. We Today we are going to be doing the Briars Frozen Dairy Dessert Oreo Cookies and Cream. As you know, Frozen Dairy Desserts are a little different. Typically you have more air whipped into them with over 100%. Usually the quality of ingredients aren't quite as good. And instead of milk fat or butter fat, they typically tend to have... Um, Oh my God, what is it called? Vegetable oil. So we're going to go ahead and jump in it today for the calorie conscious crowd. This is one pint or 473 milliliters, 473 milliliters and 520 calories. Five to zero. Who here likes Oreos? I am a huge fan of Oreos. Put in the comments below. Also, while you're there, make sure to like, share and subscribe. I cannot thank you enough for continuing to support me. Welcome Rumble fans. Also, we are now on Rumble. You can find us on Rumble as well as Instagram and YouTube. So today, like I said, we're going to be doing, as you can see, some of these things, because they don't have a lot of fat in them, they 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 um, unfreeze easily and you have to refreeze them. And sometimes even when you try to refreeze them in a better spot, it still doesn't freeze very well. And so there's always that like issue with the quality of ice cream. It kind of takes away from it. But anywho, I'm going to move, move on. So... I uh, hope everybody is doing well. As you can see, it doesn't have a lot of fat. That's why I keep sliding off my spoon. I realized that recently. Well, first things first, there's ice on top because it got frozen and refrozen. But we're moving forward. Um, yeah, right, <laughs> right away, you get that hint of... Uh, like a light Oreo sprinkled throughout there. I would say reminiscent of cookies and cream to an extent. Um, the fat content isn't there. You know, it's 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 definitely a, a lighter, fluffier uh, ice cream. I would say the uh, the texture is, is softer, but definitely doesn't have that traditional fat. As you can hear the people outside, because New York City is a city that never sleeps or shuts up. Uh, so every day I am uh, hounded, bombarded with people who just cannot seem to help themselves. Talk, 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 talk. But anywho, we're moving on. Has anybody had this before? Has anybody had the Briars uh, ice cream before or the frozen dairy dessert? Oreo, I should say. You know, one thing I, I actually kind of wonder what about because, you know, between like so what have we done so far? Reese's, now we're doing Oreo. We've done a few cereals like Fruity Pebbles and um, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. They're always either light ice creams or frozen dairy desserts. If somebody knows an ice cream brand that can make a genuine representation of this, uh, although Miss Mona does to an extent, I will say that. Go check Miss Mona out. Um, that has like genuine Oreo, genuine, when I say genuine, I mean, like, I guess I should say full fat American standard ice cream because it is very frustrating from my standpoint because I actually want real ice cream. And as I know, as you guys know, there's a difference between gelato and frozen custard and American standard ice cream, etc. And we will go into that later. But when I say like real ice cream or American standard ice cream, I mean like the, the typical, what people, most people know is ice cream in America. That is actually what that is. It's called American standard ice cream. It is it's hard to find can y'all see the Oreos down there? It is hard to find a full fat version of these type of ice creams. And I don't know why these companies like Briars, like Edie's, etc. Tend to, from whatever what I can tell, uh, have a fr uh, frozen dairy dessert or a lighter ice cream as opposed to a full fat. So actually, if you know anything, please put it down in the comments below. Or I'm sorry, if you know a brand, please put it down in the comments below. It would be much appreciated. It has a decent sweetness to it. Um, not admittedly as much ice cream as I would like. Or, I'm sorry, as much Oreo as I would like. I really like Oreos. However, I make myself sick off of them. I do wish there were more Oreos than this. They are there, but kind of lacking as far as like the taste goes. Not gonna lie, um, this is kind of a basic bitch version. Not gonna lie, uh, it's okay. 
has a vanilla base. The vanilla isn't really there at all. You've kind of got sprinkles of like cookies and cream and try to talk a little bit louder over top of these people outside. Um, but you can't even really taste the, the, the vanilla ice cream that well, honestly. I know tiny Asian pastry girl. She'll be in the comments. Her and Wes, or some, her, sorry, Sherry and Wes. Hey, what's up, Sherry and Wes? Big fans of their show. They love Oreos. So if you want to see some really good reviews on Oreos, go check out their page. Um, shout outs to Sherry and Wes. Uh, they really like it. So um, hopefully at some point they'll review this or something similar because I'm a huge fan of Oreos as well. But admittedly, this is. Uh, kind of lacking. So as I said before, by the way, it's crazy that it's spring, basically. That's nuts to me. Already, what, three, four? How many months are we into the year? I don't know. But you know what I'm saying. Um, three or four months into the year. It seems like just yesterday it was Christmas and New Year's. That's time flies. When you're in your room talking to yourself, eating ice cream. And we're back. Um, <laughs> no, but... Now, I will say, as you get more towards the bottom, you see, like, the larger chunks. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Can you see the, the larger chunks of Oreos? There, there is... There does seem to be, at least in this pint, larger chunks of... I assume Oreos. They say Oreos. Um... Sometimes I question if brands really put those things in there. They're just saying that. But anyway, I'm not saying they're not. I'm just saying it's questionable at times. As you go further, there are larger chunks of Oreos. All right, so I'm almost done because this is... When you have stuff like this, one of the reasons it's so calorically um, light, light compared to other ice, actual ice cream ice cream or frozen custard... It's just a lot more air whipped into it. Doesn't have nearly as much fat. And it's easier to get through faster because it's it has uh, it's just a lot less dense, more overrun. All right, scale of one to one hundred, ten point grading scale for a for a frozen dairy dessert. I would probably say this is like an average level prior. You're probably calling like average borderline premium. Um, level, as you know, there's like, you know, economy, average, premium, super premium, you get hey, so this gourmet also, but it's another story. I'm going to have to give this. People outside. Um, can you hear him? I know you can. I'm going to have to give it like an 80 or like an 81. We'll, we'll say a, like a low B. It is a... It is a decent representation of cookies and cream, Oreo. I mean, you, it is there. I wish it was more Oreo. I wish it was sweeter. I wish you could taste the vanilla more. I wish it was denser and fattier. But for what it is, a frozen air dessert, I knew going into it wasn't going to be that. Based on the quality, based on the taste, based on the um, just overall flavor and and, and, and uh Pro, let's see, what it be, production of the ice cream in general, like overall product, I'm going to have to give it like an 80. If it, if it was more flavorful and maybe a little bit denser, I would probably be a bigger fan of it. So like I said, I'm going to have to give it an 80, or 81, 82, we'll say like a, a low B. I, mean, I would probably eat it again, but I don't know that I'd go out of my way to get it. So anyway, let me know if you guys have had this. Put it down in the comments below. Like I said, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Um... I know some of you really like Briar, so I'm sure you, you probably had some symbols to this. Also, while you're there, make sure to check out the last ice cream. Or what do you think about last ice cream? I thought it was pretty good. <clears throat> Almost messed that up. I kept it running every episode. Um, you know where that actually comes from? The first um, few episodes, I had backlogged them, and I, had actually, I hadn't actually put any out yet. And I, I caught myself like four episodes in saying the same thing over and over again. I'd be like, hey, what do you guys think about last ice cream? And I'd say, I thought it was pretty good. And by like the fifth episode, it was just kind of like a running joke. And I find it amusing because I really like running jokes. I'm a writer. And I tend to write running jokes in my scripts. 
So I found it really amusing. I just kind of kept it going. But anyway, like I said, go check out the last ice cream. Let me know what you thought about it. What do you think about last ice cream? I th uh, last ice cream. I thought it was pretty good. Make sure to go check out the ice cream. Put it in the comments of that video. You guys go out there. Check this out. I'm going to shut up because I keep rambling. Like I said, if you're on YouTube, check us out on Instagram. If you're on Instagram, check us out on YouTube. You can now find us on Rumble. Rumble. Check out the links below. I cannot thank you enough for continuing to listen to me. I cannot thank you enough for continuing to um, come and eat ice cream with me every week. You can go on Instagram the week before and find out the inst the Instagram. You can <laughs> find out the ice cream we'll be eating the week of. And get it, guys. Eat it with us. I love to converse about it. Party and Matt's ice cream show section or comment section. Thank you so much for tuning in. I cannot thank you enough. And I'm going to shut up now. All right, guys. I will. See you next time.